So today we're going to discuss a little bit about the concentrically loaded double wall steel pier that we use here at KC Pier. Um, what we use is um, it's 3 8 thick each segment. What they do is they come in, we cut the same segments the same length, and we tack weld them together here. As we do that, that turns this into a collar pipe system. So each segment interlocks three inches and it's steel on steel and we push these until we hit either bedrock or load bearing strata this pier itself is a in loaded pier the starter pier is full of steel here so that way the material can't get inside of it and turn it into a friction based pier the difference is your in loaded pier can drive deeper and gain more pressure that holds longer. Also makes it easier when we go to recover the home to lift. We use all steel, so that way when we put the mass pressure on it, nothing happens. <clears throat> These are driven directly under the footing and the foundation wall. With the concentrically loaded pier, you do not have to break the footing to put this in. We dig down about three foot underneath the footing and about a foot inward. So that way when we go to use the hydraulic system that pushes these into the ground, we are directly under everything that we're trying to lift. A concentrically loaded pier uses the house as the weight. So when we push this pier, we push it until the pier don't go in the ground anymore and whatever we're pushing on starts to lift as the recovery process. After we push the piers to load bearing strata, and we get the right pressures and depths we need to get the recovery process, what we do is we install the head unit. This head unit slides right over the pipe that was installed. Once we get this in, we put two 20 ton jacks. We also put the angle that spreads everything up top, and then we go with the recovery process. The recovery process does not work if the pier is not driven straight. So that's one of the guarantees we have with the recovery is this is straight up and down at a 90 degree angle for us. Uh, that way we can, we can put the lifetime warranty on this pier itself. Once we get it up, we have an 85,000 pound pressure all thread and we tighten this up to where it needs to be. Once everything's secure, we take the two 20 ton jacks out. So that way there's no mechanicals or hydraulics on here for the pier to fail. Everything is straight up and down. We backfill, we compact all the soil with the jackhammer so that way there's no settling. If it's on the exterior, we put a little grade on it. If it's on the interior, we re-concrete everything flush. It takes a couple days for the concrete to cure and then you can either keep it like it is or you can put the carpet or tile or anything back you wanna do.